Hello, thanks for tuning in today. We don't have any fish to show as you can see, but we're unwrapping or unboxing the Waterwolf HD 1.1 camera. The first thing to highlight or to notice is that the 1.1 comes in a cardboard box. That's great compared to the 1.0 that has some sort of a plastic wrapping and it took a chainsaw and a torch blower to actually get it out of that. Let's do a quick feature check first. Waterproof up to 120 meters. Battery lasts for hours. Uh, the resolution is HD 720p. The battery is rechargeable and integrated. It records in color and is very sensitive to light, which is important underwater. And it records at an angle of 120 times 90 degree. So what's included? We've got the camera. We've got a USB cable. We've got two types of mounts. One called a fishing mount and the other one a filming mount. A bank stick converter, an EVA float, a lens protective cap and some weights. On the other side you've also got some graphical representation of all the parts. So let's see what we can learn on the back. The camera weighs 65 grams, which of course you need to consider choosing your rod, especially if you want to cast it. It doesn't have an integrated storage, so you need to have a micro SD card. I'm using cards of 16 or 32 gigabytes and they work very well. It has a built-in microphone and it's quite interesting to hear how loud your equipment is at 50 meters depth. So when the line runs through the rings or your reel works heavily, it is quite loud. So let's see if we can get to the core and open this box. So let's do that from the top in a way that you can actually see it. We pull out this white plastic mount here. And in here we've got another small cardboard box. So this cardboard box is empty now, we can put it aside. So let's start with the camera. If you lift this plastic mount, you've got the manuals and you've got one of the mounts, the fishing mount. So first, now we have to detach the camera from that white mount, and we do that by turning it around. We have to remove this black plastic straw, but before we actually do that, we hold the camera fast so that it doesn't fall, and then we drag the straw so that it gets free of one hole, and then we can angle the camera out like this. This can go away as well. We also don't need the straw anymore, we can put that aside. And here we've got the camera. So this is the universal fishing mount to attach your camera to the line. And now we open this little box. So if we open it, we see there is a lot of stuff in there. So we've got the EVA float. And uh, let me just empty this box so it is out of the way. It's empty now, so go to the side as well. So, what do we have here? We've got the manual, we've got the camera, of course, we've got the USB cable. We've got the bank stick adapter, we've got the universal filming mount, and we've got the protective cap. got the weights, to we've got a pin here, and the third weight, let's check if it is complete, so we've got the camera, we've got the USB cable, we've got the fishing mount and the filming mount, We've got the bank stick converter, the EVA float, we've got the protective cap, and we've got the press weights. And we've got the user manual and the pin. So let's check the USB cable. It has a micro USB plug type B. If you want to protect your camera lens when you've got it loose in your bag, which you shouldn't do, you can take this red silicone cap and it actually fits quite well onto the lens. Surprise, surprise. You can fasten it with a pin put it through the hole and then it gets into this line guide at the bottom of the camera. You can just remove it again. 
if you want to use your camera, you need to get to the control, so the user interface, and that's under the cap at the back of the camera. Now this is where you use this pin again. It's quite difficult to get it off with your bare hands. So if you use this pin, you just put it through the hole and you twist it slightly and pull, then off it goes, as easy as that. So what do we have here? We've got the on-off light, we've got the micro USB port, we've got the on-off switch, and we've got the slot for the SD card. And then at the bottom, we've got the guide for the line tube. Now, to insert the SD card, you put it into the slot with the interface at the top, and you just put it in with your fingernail until it fastens. And if to get it out again, you just press it with your fingernail till it comes loose, and you, then you remove it out of the slot. That's it. So to get the cap back onto the camera, be careful with the O-rings so that they are not damaged. They seal the camera. And you can use this pin again to just twist it slightly, but be careful with the O-rings, right? Check them. You can see them from the outside. It's a little transparent, the plastic. So now we've got it back on. Before you use the camera, the battery needs to be loaded, of course. You must have the SD card inserted and you must have the camera switched on. How do you mount the camera on the fishing mount? So you've got a guide for the tube here. If you drag out that tube, you can place the camera on the fishing mount. So you just press it to the bottom and then you click it in and then you just put the tube back in you drag that wire out again and it is mounted depending on how I want the camera to behave underwater I can add one of the press weights and uh, that will make the camera as I said, behave differently so it goes from floating to suspended to sinking on in between there is yeah, something that's called slowly sinking. Um, you can also attach the EVA float and use the whole camera as a float and as you can see depending on what press weight you add in combination with the float uh, it sits differently in the wall. Let's remove the EVA float again. Be careful with that wire here that can bend quite easily if you want to remove the brass weight, you can use that pin again. Just put it through that hole at the bottom and then you can push it out. Uh, if you use the camera for sea fishing, you usually don't need any of the brass weights. You've got quite some lead dragging it down and that does the job. If we want to remove the camera from the fishing mount, just pull that tube back and then you can take the camera out again. Let's have a look at the universal filming mount. So you can attach that as it comes out of the box to any GoPro accessories and you attach it to the camera by using that guide again. So you fit it in, fit it in and then you just slide the camera onto the universal mount. So this is how it looks like. If you fasten the screw properly, it sits quite tight on the mount. If you want to remove it, you just pull that lever here at the back down and you slide the camera off again. Be careful with that lever so it doesn't break. Um, and there you go. By default, the GoPro adapter is attached to the universal mount, but you can replace it with this bank stick adapter which you can then fit to your landing net pole or your bank stick, whatever uses a 3 8 inch thread. So you just unfasten the screw so far that you can pull that GoPro adapter out and then you replace it with the bank stick adapter and you fasten the screw again. Now you can mount your camera on your landing net pole and you can direct the camera underwater with the pole or you can put it on your bank stick and film yourself above the surface. 
Before we wrap up, let's look at the manual again. It comes in German, in English, in French, and in Spanish. Let's see what's included in the manual. If we unfold it, you can see what's in the box. You can see the controls. You can see how to attach the cap and what not to do with the O-rings particularly. It is described how to mount the camera and what the different colors of the light or the status LED tell you if the camera records or charges for example. So blue means charge, uh, red means the camera is reading or writing on the SD card. If it's flashing slowly in red, it's recording. And if it flashes quickly in red, then the uh, SD card is full. There is a lot about how to use the camera for different types of fishing. We've talked about the breast weights and how to attach them and what it means for the camera. Uh, it's described how you replace the bank, the GoPro adapter with the bank stick adapter and how to open the camera or remove the cap. It's a wrap now. So what might be interesting is the price. So it comes in between 100 or 150 euro, dollar, pounds, whatever you like. Uh, but if you look at the usual platforms, uh, you can get it cheaper. I hope this was useful. And if you're still around, it probably was relevant for you. If you're interested in underwater filming, you can also subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel or check www.fishcamguerilla.eu If you're fishing, I wish you tight lines. If you're a fish filmer yourself and you've got great footage out there on YouTube which you want to have featured in one of my playlists, I've got one playlist where I'm also uh, linking material from other filmers, you can send me an email to info at fishcamguerilla.eu and if your video is as awesome as you think, I'll put it up. Thanks a lot for watching. Over and out.